Hello guys and welcome to this video on expanding and simplifying. So previous to this you should have made sure that you've watched the video on expanding single brackets and also on simplifying aka collecting like terms. What this video is going to be about is putting the both of them together in a single question. So having a look at what we've got on the screen 5 bracket x plus 7 minus 3 bracket x plus 5 have a think about what you think the answer to this might be. If you're thinking to yourself that this is going to end up as 2x plus 50, unfortunately you've fallen into the common mistake that happens every single time on these expand and simplify questions. Let's have a look at how we do these and we'll come back to this question shortly. So to start off with, this is a similar question but not the same to the one that we just looked at. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the brackets as I know how to do and then simplify whatever terms I'm left over with. So here I can see I've got 5 multiplied by x, which is 5x, and 5 multiplied by positive 7, which is positive 35. If you remember from the previous video on expanding and on simplifying, that actually signs are really, really important when we're doing this. Here I've got a positive 3 being multiplied by a positive x, giving me positive 3x, and the positive 3 is multiplied by a positive 5 here to give me positive 15. That's the expanding stage done and then hopefully you should be able to see that my 5x and 3x will combine to make 8x and my plus 35 and plus 15 will combine to make plus 50 and that's that bracket expanded and simplified. Now if we go back to the one that we had at the very start of the video the only difference is this takeaway symbol here. So let's look at how that actually affects it. If you remember we said that 2x plus 50 was definitely going to be the wrong answer. Well, let's see if we can get to the right one and let's see if we can see what people are doing to get to 2x plus 50. So to start off with, 5 times x is 5x and 5 times this positive 7 here is positive 35. Then this is a negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x and negative 3 times positive 5 which is negative 15. Now when I simplify all of those together my 5x minus 3x is going to create 2x so on that one we actually agree but the plus 35 and the minus 15 actually combine here to make positive 20 left over. Now the mistake that people will make on this one is always going to be here with this very very last term. If you look what we did was we had negative 3 multiplied by positive 5 and negative 3 multiplied by positive 5 is negative 15. What people will often do is they will take whatever sign is here and just drop it straight down. Whatever sign is here drop it straight down and whatever sign is here and drop it straight down. Now if you look this was okay here, it was okay here but caused me a problem there because that sign actually changed. Now there are no hard and fast rules about change your sign here. What we need to be doing is making sure we're always thinking and considering how we multiply those numbers together. So that's going to be the main thing we're going to need to take care on in these examples. Here are three for you to have a practice at. All three of them are going to have some issues with negatives, so take your time, think about your multiplication of negative numbers carefully, and you should be absolutely fine. Pause the video here, hit play when you're ready to see what the answers look like. Okay, so in this first one, 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times positive 2 is positive 12. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Now that's all expanded. I can put these terms together. I can see 6x take away 2x is 4x and plus 12 plus 6 is plus 18. In the second one, 5 times x is 5x. 5 times positive 2 is positive 10. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x and negative 2 times a positive 1 is negative 2. Now when we look at this one once we've expanded it I can see that my 5x minus 2x is going to give me positive 3x is left and my plus 10 and my minus 2 is going to give me a positive 8 overall. In the final one 4 times x is 4x, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now moving on to the second bracket negative 3 times x is negative 3x and negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. 
Simplifying all of these terms, I can see I've got 4x's take away 3x's, which is just 1x left over. And I've got minus 12 plus 3, which is negative 9. So that thing all simplifies down to x minus 9. It's another one of these beasts. These things are pretty tough. If you can expand and simplify this with no mistakes, no errors on your negatives, I think you can pretty much expand and simplify anything there is. Pause the video here, have a go at the beast, but good luck. Okay, right, let's give this one a whirl then. So 7 times x is 7x, and 7 times positive 2 is positive 14. Then moving on to the next bracket, negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times a positive 3 is negative 6. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. So there's obviously a lot more terms here to actually simplify. So I'm going to revert to underlining common terms so I don't miss any. I can see I've got 7x's, take away 2x's, take away 3x's. Well, in total, that's going to give me 2x left over. Then if I look at my integer values, I can see I've got plus 14, I've got minus 6 and a plus 15. And all of those together are going to give me positive 23. And that is the beast sorted. So just to recap on these ones then, you expand each bracket separately and then simplify what you're left over with. There's not too much to remember on this, but the absolute critical thing is making sure that you include whatever sign is involved in your calculations. No hard and fast rules about this is always negative, this is always positive. Just make sure that you're thinking about multiplying those negative numbers together carefully and you should be absolutely fine. Okay guys, thanks for listening. Hopefully this has been useful. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe and see you next time.